Today we're going to talk about your plow truck. So let's get started. Hello, welcome back to My Green Lawn. Today we're going to go ahead and talk about safety. Here are some important plow safety measures to keep in mind when you're driving with a plow and plowing using your pickup truck. The first thing I'd like to see you do is to inspect the equipment. So before you're using your plow, obviously it's, it's essential to assure that it is in good working condition. Check to make sure that the plow's attachment to the vehicle and hydraulic hoses and other critical components for damage or any damage or any wear and tear. Then we also want to check and clear the work area. So we'll go ahead and remove any obstacles or debris or hazards from the work area, the place you're going to plow, including people and pets. You don't want your dog running around while you're trying to plow. The other thing you want to do is slow down. Always drive slowly and carefully while you're plowing, especially when it's slick or on uneven surfaces. And use caution when obviously turning and stopping and backing up most importantly. Now the plow can affect, as you know, the, the plow can affect your vehicle's handling. The other thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to keep your distance and maintain a safe distance from other vehicles. That's either while driving on the road or while plowing. Obviously if someone drives by while you're plowing, you go ahead and give them the right of way and let them pass first. Avoid obstacles that could actually damage the uh, plow's blade or damage the object themselves or potentially injure or harm somebody. Use your lights when plowing. Use your emergency lights, your flashers, your headlights. Always use your uh, headlights and flashers, flashers and any safety lights you have on your vehicle to increase your visibility to other people and other drivers. You're gonna also wanna be sure, again, like I said, be mindful of others. Be aware of other drivers on the road and watch for cars passing you or coming up from behind you, especially, again, if you're gonna be backing up. Always be prepared to stop. Always carry a first aid kit, emergency supplies, carry a charge cell phone and a charger in case of an emergency. The other thing you're going to want to do is properly balance the load. Any kind of salts, you know, the plows, the shovels, the snowblower, any kind of equipment you may have on there. An improperly balancing load can affect your vehicle's handling and your stability. When plowing a parking lot, it's essential to drive at a safe and reasonable speed, taking into account the size of the lot, the layout of the parking spaces, and the presence of any obstacles or hazards. Now, generally, you should be driving at a much slower speed. If you're plowing, maybe around five to 10 miles an hour while you're plowing in a, in a parking lot. This slower speed allows you to maintain control of your truck and your blade and to avoid any potential accidents, which we don't wanna have. It's also crucial to adjust your speed according to the condition of the parking lot surface. For instance, if the parking lot is covered in ice or snow, you should drive at a slower speed to maintain safe control of your vehicle and your plow. Additionally, you should be aware of any pedestrians or parked cars or other obstacles that would be in the parking lot and adjust your speed accordingly. Overall, it's always better to err on the side of caution when plowing a parking lot and drive at a slower speed to ensure safety. Now, when driving on a highway with a plow attached to your truck, it's essential to consider the safety of yourself and of others on the road. Generally, the speed limit with a vehicle with a plow attachment is the same. The speed is the same as others on the road. However, you should adjust your speed accordingly to the road conditions, such as snow and ice accumulation, wind, and the visibility to maintain a safe control of the vehicle and to avoid accidents. 
Additionally, some states may have specific speed limits for your vehicle with a plow attachment. So it's always best to check and follow any posted speed limits, traffic signs, or regulations specific to your area. By following these plow safety measures, you can help ensure a safe and successful plowing experience and a successful season. So talking about highway speeds with the plow on your truck, if you've ever looked at your manufacturer's recommendations on your plow for driving your truck on a highway with the plow attached to your vehicle. Let's check that out real quick. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can read this or not. I'll go ahead and read it for you. This is the warning sticker. It says, make sure the, make sure the plow is properly attached before moving the vehicle. When transporting, position plow so as not to block vision or plow headlights. For V plows, be sure the blade is in the V position with both wings back before disconnecting from the truck. Do not get the body parts between the plow and the vehicle. Here's when servicing or operating. Do not exceed 40 miles per hour when transporting snow plow. Also, look, do not exceed 14 miles per hour when plowing snow. Always lower the blade when not in use. Down here it says, vehicles equipped with airbags are designed such that airbags will be activated in a frontal collision equivalent to hitting a solid barrier, such as a wall, at approximately 14 miles an hour or more, or roughly speaking, a frontal per perpendicular collision with a parked car or truck or similar size at approximately 28 miles or more. Careless high-speed driving while plowing snow will result in vehicle deceleration equivalent to or greater than the airbag deployment threshold described above and it would deploy the airbag. Okay guys, well that's what I'm talking about. You know, when you start looking at the manufacturer's suggested speeds, you know, 40 miles an hour on the highway and 14 miles an hour while plowing, because for, you know, you wanna go slower in the parking lot because you don't want to hit, hit a bank or anything like that or an object and deploy your airbag. And if you're going, can you imagine doing 65 or 70 or 75 miles an hour on a highway and your main hose, your hydraulic hose or the uh, hydraulic itself failed and the plow came slamming down to the road at, at that fastest speed unexpectedly? Most of us, come on, we're driving one-handed, we're all kicked back, relaxing, having a drink of a soda, and this plow slams down to the highway at 75 miles an hour. It probably wouldn't be a real fun experience. So, again okay guys, we just really have to be careful while we're out there with our rigs. I mean, we have really heavy trucks, we have really heavy plows. I believe this unit here is around 800 pounds. And uh, we're driving on the road with a bunch of other cars and vehicles and we just have to be really, really, really careful, guys. So I know a lot of us have been doing this for a long time and you've never had any issues, but there's always that one time. This is my first year doing it, so I've never experienced stuff like that, but I can imagine that the, I can imagine that something like that has happened to somebody. It's, I'm sure it's a rarity, but it could happen. So be safe, guys. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and smash that like and subscribe buttons down below. And with that, I'll see you in the green. You guys have a great day. Take care.